to Lil Bibbs Booktube channel. My name is Kaylen. Today we are in my kitchen. And so we're not behind the curtain over there. We're not by my bookshelf, which is on the other side of this wall. We are in the kitchen. There have been several, several things that I've been contemplating over the past several days on what I wanted to do for this video. Like I could make Butterbeer or I could make this and that from the Hunger Games or Game of Thrones or Outlander all those fun foods, but nothing stuck to me. So we are here today and I'm going to be making foods that make me feel wholesome and awesome like a good book. And I'm so excited because one of the recipes I'm going to attempt at the first time and put my little spin onto it. But today we're gonna to be making steak as in a meaty, good, wholesome book that has a lot of oomph to it which will be our main course. Side dishes include some carrots, something that's crisp and refreshing. And then last but not least, I'm going to attempt to make some scalloped potatoes. The potatoes are like a favorite and a classic of mine, I would say. They are just the necessity. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but I'm gonna put my own spin onto them and hopefully it works out for me. That's all I gotta say. So I started the oven for the scalloped potatoes and the carrots already. Behind me, I have our ingredients, which I'm super excited about one because I love these types of carrots so much. It definitely makes me feel like a rabbit because I love these so much, but like, look at the, all this green. <laughs> so anywho, and I also have some white sweet potatoes. I have golden Yukon potatoes. I have steaks. I have seasonings. I have butter. I have dairy products. So I'm sorry if you are not a meat eater or if you're sensitive to dairy. I guess just substitute it out. I'm really sorry. So we're gonna start peeling these and slicing them up so I can get this look of ratatouille because I've always wanted to make ratatouille since the Disney movie came out. I love that movie, one of my favorite Disney movies. And yeah, and I also got some white sweet potatoes as well. So we're gonna layer them in with the golden Yukon. There's gonna be some butter. There's gonna be, I'm trying to think if I'm gonna make a sauce or not. And cheese, we cannot forget cheese, which cheese is an essential. So first up, now that I got in my potatoes all washed, I'm going to start peeling them because I am a freak and I don't like skin on my potatoes. So we're gonna start peeling them and then after we're done peeling them, then we'll slice them up. Now that we have our naked potatoes right now and our skins over here we can throw away, now we get down to the fun part, which is the slicing. According to this recipe I found on Tasty, I'm supposed to melt this butter and all this other stuff together, so good thing I have my cutting board out because we're about to chop some veggies up. Before I melt my butter and all my other concoctions of my shallots, all that fun jazz, we are going to actually just layer this bad boy up so then once the sauce is done, we can just pour it all over here and then call it a day and plop her into the oven. So I think I'm gonna do like every other one be a sweet potato. I feel like I definitely have too many potatoes here. We're gonna make the sauce to put this on top and put it in there and drizzle it on. And then this and the carrots will go into the oven and then they'll bake for like an hour and then we'll probably come back 20 minutes later to flip everything over, at least on the carrot side. And then we'll start making the steak. So we're gonna be melting one tablespoon of butter, but like I don't have any um, measuring stuff. So we're just gonna guesstimate on our own because I have this giant stick from Costco. I am a very visual person when it comes to cooking. So that's why we're gonna do it that way. I'm also gonna cut up some shallots over here, which you really can't see because I'm trying to melt this butter over here. So we're gonna try to chop up some shallots real quick because shallots are hands down one of my favorite. to put on some garlic in there so that's what I'm doing right now I'm 
I'm also going to put my favorite seasoning salt in here to add it some nice good flavor and we're also going to be adding some dill as well along with some oregano no basil sorry and we're just going to still kind of mush that around for right now I'm also going to add salt and pepper in here because they are a classic and a staple as well and that's what the recipe says okay everything's getting nice and brown in here so we're going to add the milk which is one cup this is supposed to be using flour in here as well but um yeah i don't have any flour so now everything's kind of brown and just chilling in here i'm gonna whisk in some more well not whisk i'm gonna dump in some more milk i am also going to pour in some heavy cream as well because your girl loves the heavy cream With a little double of that, I'm just kind of stirring her around. The smell in my apartment right now smells so good. So there's your shallots, garlic, all your seasonings, browned, and then we have the milk and the heavy cream. Ah, oh, smells so good. While I'm at it, I'm also going to add in some Kraft Smoky Bacon Cheddar into the mix as well. So this will be an interesting little sauce that we have going on because I'm going to also add some cheese on top of the potatoes as well. In the meantime, I'm gonna start peeling my carrots and prepping them for the oven as well. Now we have the potatoes and now we have this stuff. So we're just gonna kinda, I guess, drizzle it everywhere, whoops. Okay, if you can see like right here, it definitely looks a little soupy. So hopefully it turns out good. So we have all the shallots and the garlic also on top. I'm just kinda cleaning up this so when it goes into the oven, it's not going to burn and make a giant mess. Then we're gonna top it off with the cheese. Okay, so since you last saw me, I have also now peeled, washed, peeled, and seasoned my carrots. I used the Whole Foods sunflower seed oil to coat them, and then I also put salt and pepper on them, super basic. So now they're about ready to enter the oven, and I'm seeing how much time we have left. We still have 50 minutes left until the potatoes should be done. So I'm gonna pop this carrot in there and then I'll probably be back around 20 minutes to start the steak. Okay, since we last talked, I have officially started melting some butter, which you really can't see because reasons so i'm starting to melt my butter i have chopped up i decided to throw in some last minute mushrooms i just finished chopping the mushrooms and i'm going to put them in the butter and i'm going to season them with the trader joe's 21 seasoning salute one of my favorites or one of my new favorites after visiting trader joe's and acquiring it and then i also have this jalapeno salt i don't know i kind of like it and i think the mushrooms need a little bit of a kick <laughs> Also, my oven light doesn't work, but look at these carrots. They look so good. They're coming along so nicely. And look at the potatoes. Oh my goodness. Look at, oh. I'm about to add some more cheese on them too. So it's gonna be a delicious city up in here. So I missed the most important part. I'm now just putting the steak down. 